folks, your host Moose here, back for episode six of our Pittsburgh Penguins NHL 21 franchise mode. And we are at the playoffs. We won the President's Trophy this season. And somehow we locked into playing the Boston Bruins who have struggled but are on a hot streak heading into the first round of the playoffs. Something interesting that I just saw. I was checking our lines. I've seen who's injured. We are going to be missing Aston Reese for this series. But I noticed Crosby's at 95. I'm not sure if he was 95 to start. I thought he was maybe 94. He could be 95, so he stayed the same. I'm not 100%. But I was just checking his info just for the sake of it. And he matches this coach that we have absolutely perfectly. His morale's amazing because he loves this coach. And Jake Gensel is the exact same way. Every preference matches with what the coach wants. He fits perfectly on the line. I'm so happy. We're going to be keeping this coach for the next five years when we have Crosby. It's unbelievable. I just thought that was funny uh, and something we could pay attention to as we get started. And a reason why certainly we've been so successful. Crosby has been unbelievable this year. He, Gensel, and Malkin all were fantastic. And I can't wait to see what we're going to end up doing here. But we do have the playoffs. We have the Bruins. If we take a look at the remainder of the playoffs, again, it's Tampa Bay taking on Toronto. So, again, Toronto wins their division, and somehow they draw Tampa Bay. So, horribly unlucky for them. Buffalo and Florida in one series, and then Washington and the Flyers in the other. So, one division may be a little bit more uh, realistic than the other. Uh, we know the struggle with Buffalo is having in real life this year. But otherwise... Pretty realistic with the teams making the playoffs. Then in the West, Vegas and Edmonton will face off. Colorado and Arizona. The Blackhawks and Winnipeg. And then San Jose and Vancouver. So, you know, is what it is. I like uh, Vegas. I like Colorado. We'll make some predictions here for the first round. Vegas, I like Colorado. I think I like the Sharks in the simulation. Um, and then... Same thing. I would pick Winnipeg in this series, but the Blackhawks seem to simulate really well, so they might win that one. Over in the East, I like Tampa Bay to upset Toronto. I like Buffalo to win. I think they have the star power on the team, even if it's not performing in real life. I like the Capitals to beat the Flyers, and I, I have to go with us to beat the Bruins. Uh, I think that's what we'll have to go with. So let's get into game one. Very excited. We're going to super sim every game and just see how things shake out moving forward. So Boston, Pittsburgh, we're not going to beat around the bush. We're going to get right into it. If you want to check out the Bruins lines and things like that, check out the end of the last episode, um, and we'll get things going here. So uh, let's make sure quickly that Jari's in goal. And we go goalie here. Or, uh goalies Tristan Jari and goal I'm gonna turn off uh, I believe I have on the settings let's make sure here we're gonna turn off automated goalie rotation I think it's in rules give me a sec to find it here but we're gonna turn off automated goalie rotation turn that off just because I don't want to Smith to play any games unless I you know put him in for one all right, perfect. So let's go ahead. Game one, Penguins Bruins, PPG Paints Arena, playoffs underway. And remember, our rules for this franchise were uh, any deciding game we can play, game seven we can play, um, or we can jump in at the very end of a series to see the handshake and stuff like that. Um, but let's go ahead and get into it. Looks like Wilkes-Barre's in the playoffs too, but I haven't really checked in on them. P.O. Joseph looking very good, which is good to see. Speed up the sim a little bit here. We'll do it in real time. Normally, I kind of skip the first two periods, but let's let's watch as it goes. And there's Crosby in the playoffs. Sidney Crosby stepping up with a power play goal on Tuka Rask. Boston with plenty of shots, though. Jari standing tall here in the opening frame. 10-8 um, the shots as we get down towards the end of the period. If we can hold them to nothing here to start off, that is fantastic. And there it is. Great first period. Pretty even in terms of shots. I like doing a quick look to just see where they're from. We're holding them to the outside, which is good to see uh, Boston shooting. They don't have a ton of high-quality shots. Crosby's goal, I think, was actually from wide there on the power play, so maybe a one-timer. Beautiful setup. Let's get the second period underway. And we get another goal. Jared McCann makes it 2 nothing. I think he's playing on the third line again. Um, it's where, you, where we have him right now. 
and we are really separating ourselves from the Bruins, although they're getting chances. 19 shots are at 20 already, but a very solid period. If we can push this to 3 nothing, I'll feel very, very happy with where we're at. Let's just get through the second period, and there it is. 2 nothing Penguins. Let's just get right into the third. No sense messing around here. And there it is. Evgeny Malkin makes it 3 nothing. I said if we could get to 3, I think that could be the deciding point. And there's Evgeny Malkin doing it for us. Boston Power Play could get them back into it, but we kill that off. Another one. Bruins up to a 30 shots and Jankowski scores right off the, it's not a shorty, so it's right off the end of the penalty kill, but Jankowski's going to put this one away, and it looks like Tristan Jari, a 33 save shutout in the first game of the playoffs. What a performance from him. Sidney Crosby with, of course, the game winning goal, Bo Bennett with two assists. We didn't make a ton of roster moves, but Bo Bennett was the one guy I brought in. I thought he would fit on the team, and he did absolutely that. Latang played 30 minutes of ice time. That's absurd. And had two points as well, which is incredible. Um, Crosby, of course, with a point. What a great game from the whole team. Really, really impressive. Then, of course, you can't leave out Jari with the shutout as well. And so we go to game two. Quick look around the league, and Buffalo wins. Philly wins, Tampa Bay wins, so I'm two for three on predictions in that series so far. Edmonton beats Vegas, Arizona over Colorado, San Jose, and then the Blackhawks, so two, two and two on that side, uh, but of course there's a long way to go. Let's get into our second game here, second home game from the paint can. Can we push things to a 2-0 advantage against the rival Boston Bruins here? Let's speed up the sim to eight times. And see how things go. Bruins again off to a hot start. They had four shots in like the first three minutes. Really started off well. They got a power play here. And there it is. Nick Ritchie scores on the power play to give Boston their first goal of the series. And a 1-0 advantage. But we have a power play ourselves. Five on three. Can we get a goal? No. Bruins kill it off. And Kuhnhockle, the former Penguin, makes us play. Boston up 2-0. We do kill off the penalty. But 14 shots for the Bruins in the first period. And we're down 2-0 here at home. We have to reply. I don't think we're going to shake up any lines or anything regardless of what happens in this game. I liked our jam in game one. I thought we played really well. We took our opportunities. Of course, we'd like to get some more shots. Um, withhold Boston from shooting as well, but it's low scoring so far. 2-0 Bruins as we head into the third period. Neither team taking a ton of opportunities, and one goal would have been the difference. If we could score one, we could get right back into it, but it's another power play goal for the Bruins. Nick Ritchie, they have another power play. We're just taking penalties left, right, and center. I don't even know if I've seen us on a power play in this game, and Pasternak, you knew he was going to come around eventually. Gives the Bruins an opportunity. There we go. We get a late power play. We can't score on it. And so just one game removed from a 4-0 win, we now have a 4-0 loss to the Bruins. So Tuka Rask with a nice solid performance there. 26 saves. Nick Ritchie, two goals and an assist. He tore us up. Tough day. Let's see who struggled here quickly. Stats-wise, uh, we gave up two power play goals, so the minuses shouldn't be too, too bad. But there it is. It's some of the lower line guys. Uh, Bluger, Pedersen, oh, the Gensel, Russ, Tanev, Malkin a minus one. Not seeing a lot of Malkin so far here in the opening two games to get the series going. But it's early. It's very early. We'll see how things go. Poulin has been injured. Uh, we'll replace him. Wilkes-Barre's playing um, down there in the playoffs, I assume, as well. We'll check on that maybe at the end of this series. We're not managing them day-to-day -day here, so we're not going to worry about it. Uh, around the league... Edmonton 2-0, Arizona 2-0, San Jose 2-0, Winnipeg's evened it up. Um, Buffalo up 2-0 in the East, otherwise 1-1 all around. Let's get into it here at the TD Garden as we take on the Bruins needing to get a victory here. Otherwise, we risk really putting ourselves behind the eight ball if we fall down 3-1. And Bo Bennett, what a signing. This guy is a hero. Bo Bennett has been incredible for us, and he's got the big goal. We need to keep Boston. They have a very potent power play here. We keep that off the board. We're looking very good right now. We're actually out shooting them for the first time in the series. Uh, we need to get a couple in the net here, but one nothing at the end of one. Let's look at the shots. You can see we're getting chances. Uh, we're very wide of the net. You know, our chances are kind of everywhere. They are getting some quality scoring chances, it looks like. So need to try to push them to the outside. Uh, if we want to 
you know, keep them off the score sheet realistically. But we're getting a ton of shots right now. We are all over them. Another power play opportunity. Can we get a goal? Nothing. Uh, the Bruins with the power play. We can't let them score. And there it is. The power play again. DeBrusque. And it's 1-1. This is where they're killing us. Uh, Richie had two power play goals. DeBrusque has a power play goal. Bell Bennett with his second of the game. This guy is an absolute hero. What a game for Bennett. I wonder if that means Malkin's finally stepping up. Uh, because he's, of course, on the same line as Bo Bennett. You can see Bruins did pull it back a little bit with the shots, although we kept them away from the high danger areas around the net. And Bo Bennett with the hat trick. 3-1 Penguins. If we don't win a game where Bo Bennett gets a hat trick, then I don't know what else we're doing here. But Bo Bennett, can he get another one? He's on the power play. If we score a power play goal, that could be Bennett as well. A couple of power play. And Charlie McAvoy scores on the... The Bruins, all they do is score on the power play on us. Sevior, the fourth line chipping in. We're up 4-2. We're sh out shooting them by a mile. Just hang on to this one. 4-2. Your Pittsburgh Penguins emerge victorious over the Boston Bruins. Bo Bennett with a hat trick leads the Penguins to the victory. What a game. There it is. Malkin with two assists like I talked about. Really the key right now is Boston is killing us on the power play. I'm not sure how many penalties we did end up taking in that game but both of Boston's goals coming on the power play uh, which means if you look at our stats, we're not going to have any minuses. Uh, Bo Bennett ended up plus three. Malkin plus three. Uh, Gensel had an assist. Latang's looked good for us. Seven shots for Bo Bennett, which is fantastic. Uh, how many pims did we end up taking? So we had eight pims. So they were two of four on the power play. But I need to see. Latang only played 851. That is worrying. That is very worrying. Did Chris Latang pick up an injury in this game? Oh, God. I mean, we've played without him earlier in the season, but and the Penguins have won the cup without Latang. And there it is, mild concussion, April 17th. Um, that's not too far away, it's like four days. So hopefully we can sur survive without him for a game or two. I'm gonna go ahead and edit the lines and we'll jump right back here in a second. All right, so we're gonna bring Ruedel in, right defenseman, of course. Move CeCe up to the second pairing with Dumoulin and Marino first pairing with Matheson. I've also put Marino on all the first power play units and Ruiz will go to the second because he's fine uh, offensively. And then that just means Latang can come right back in. I can swap them around very, very easily. But we should be okay otherwise. So if we take a look around the league here quickly, Bennett with five points. What a guy. Um... Sim to the next game, and then we'll take a look. H oh, the HL was still going. I don't even know if we made the playoffs. Yep, we did, though, because you can see we have games scheduled here. Uh, but Tampa up 2-1 against Toronto. Buffalo looking to sweep Florida. Washington up on the Flyers. So I think I'm 3-for-3 three three right there. And then, of course, the Penguins winning as well. Uh, and then in the West, Edmonton about to sweep Vegas. Uh, Arizona 2-1 on the Avalanche. Winnipeg 2-1 on the Blackhawks. And 2-1, so I'm 3 Two, two and two right there. Uh, the Oilers and Coyotes I did not predict. But here we go. Game four. Penguins, Bruins, TD Garden. Can we really put a stranglehold on this series? Let's get into it. So we'll go ahead and pump this up to eight times sim. Wilkes-Barre's excited to play Boston on the power play again. We can't let them. It's a long power play, too. Either a double minor or a five. I'm not really sure. We have a power play now, though. Boston already up to 12 shots here in the opening frame. 14 shots with five minutes still to play in the period. They are walloping us right now. But Tristan, I was about to say Jari's been holding them right off the score sheet. But there we go. 17 shots for the Bruins in the opening frame. Brendan Carlo gets the goal. We only had nine, and you can see they are getting chances from right in close to. Holy smokes, look at how many shots they had from the slot. Right from the house, I think that's seven shots. Jari looking unbelievable right now. Uh, and of course, the goal they scored is from the point, so that's kind of funny. Uh, but let's get into the second period. We're struggling right now. Power play could get back on track, and it's Bo Bennett again from the high side. And then Corrali beats Jari. Son of a gun. All right, not ideal. Uh, but it's 2-1 Bruins, 3-1. It's Grizzlick with the goal. <sighs> and wait a minute. Grizzlick scored, or is it Corrali scored from his own end? Can, can, can we just acknowledge that where did Corrali's goal come from? We Bruins were all over us on shots again. Okay, hold on. Rush shot. 
Where are our shots? Something glitched here because you can see all the Bruin shots down there. And then our shots up here. But if you look at the goals, Grizzlick's goal, Corral. Okay, there we go. Now they make sense. I was very confused for a second. I thought one of the, our goals or their goals was from the far end of the ice. Never mind. But it's 3 1 Bruins. I mean, Jari's playing fine. We're just not generating any chances. We know how good the Bruins are in two Rats. Don't let them score in the power play again. Holy, 32 shots for the Bruins already. But there's Jankowski. This guy's stepping up in the clutch. Mark Jankowski makes it 3 2. Can we get things even, Steven, here? 37 shots for the Bruins. Jari standing on his head, pulling the goalie here shortly, and we're not going to get that goal to force extra time. 3-2 Bruins win. Huge game for Tristan Jari yet again. Uh, he deserved a star performance, to be honest, in my opinion. Jar, uh, Chuka Rask gets it. But we need more from Crosby right now. McCann, two assists. Kapanen, Bennett with another goal. Jankowski scores. Malkin minus two. Crosby has just been non-existent. 20 minutes ice time, four shots, four hits. Wins his face-off battles, but Sid, you have to score, man. We need you. Or you second in the league in scoring in the regular season, and you're not doing anything right now. We need Crosby to step up. Vegas avoids the sweep, so that's good to see uh, for our old pal Mark andre Fleury and company. Uh, multiple players ready to go. So Aston Reese, I think, might be good to get back into the lineup now. Although ratings-wise, I don't really know where he fits. But Latang, if you're even mildly ready to play, you're coming in. All right, so Latang's back in the lineup. Uh, that's fine. Latang's back in the lineup, but I don't want to or I don't want to put Aston Reese in. I just he's only 79 overall. I don't know how well he fits. Colorado on the verge of going out, as is Vegas. San Jose to win. Then the other series, a toss-up. couple of toss-ups all around the league here. And Buffalo already sweeps Florida, the first team to punch their ticket to the conference semifinals. All right, so let's go. Game five. Again, Latang is back. Otherwise, we're not going to change up the lines too much otherwise. I think Chris Latang's a huge boost for us, and I think he's going to be the key to having a big game, especially at home in front of the Penguins faithful at the paint can. So... Very cagey start to the game here. Not a ton of shots in the first 10 minutes. We get a couple of chances, but you can see not a lot of action here. Normally, we see the shot totals all over the place. We're barely going to have a combined 10 shots here in the first period. No goals, unfortunately, but we are, I believe, still on the power play. We get a couple of chances there. Eight shots on Rasp, but we're not able to find the back of the net. We'll see how things go as we get into the second period here. Let's get it going. Power play. Can we get the goal? No. We just need to keep Boston off the board. We can't let them get the first goal. And there's Jared McCann. Another power play opportunity. And the Penguins score. But it's Marshan. We hadn't heard his name all series. And now we do. Brian Rust, though, beats Tuka Rast. That's huge for us. You can see the offensive explosion coming here in the second period. The power play has been so key for Boston. They are absolutely killing us with the man advantage when they get the power play they are looking fantastic you can see third period now i don't know what's going on with the clock there but boston with only 10 shots so far through the first two periods and we are only holding clinging on to a very narrow 2-1 advantage bruins finally getting a couple of shots on our net even he's up by kasperi kapanen getting onto the board here he played for toronto he's drafted by the penguins he knows what a rival boston can be and he gets a huge goal for us but bruins on the power play again we keep him off the board they racked up a ton of shots there i saw and we run down the clock it went so fast and just like that a 3-1 victory for your penguins and it's three to two in the series Three stars of the night. Tristan Jory has been incredible in the playoffs so far, and he has a great game yet again. Rust with a goal. Did Crosby get a point? Yeah, he gets an assist finally. 24 minutes of ice time, so great to see Sid making it. 37 faceoffs he took in this game. That's how big of a player he is for us, how important it is to have him on the ice in those crucial situations. But gigantic game for the Penguins, gigantic game for Crosby. And just like that, we're one step closer and holy jumping upset alert arizona is a wagon biz has got to be ecstatic right now four to one coyotes 
over the Avalanche. Vegas trying to fight back for a reverse sweep, maybe, uh, as they're only down 3-2 to Edmonton. San Jose up 3-1. Uh, Toronto goes up 3-2, so how about that? Let's sim up to our next game and see what the series look like. Poulin's back. Maybe I'll edit the HL lines here in a second. We'll see. San Jose's won their series. Philly's close to winning theirs. Um, call, uh, Chicago up 3-2 on Winnipeg as well as we head for Game 6 here uh, between the Penguins and the Bruins. So here we go, Penguins Bruins TD Garden in downtown Boston as the Penguins look to put the finishing touches and knock the Boston Bruins out of the postseason here in game six. Let's get the sim up to eight times. Bruins on the power play early on here. Couple of shots, but they can't find the back of the net. And there they do. Brad Marchand on the power play. If we stay out of the box, Bo Bennett with another goal. Is that his fifth, fourth or fifth goal this series? If we, and Malkin finally gets on the score sheet, I believe for the first time this series. If we just stay out of the box, we would have swept this series. The only games the Bruins have won, I think they have a combined four or five power play goals. It's absurd. Even the games they lose, the only reason they're in the game is power play goals. 15 shots for the Bruins in the first period. Tristan Jari standing on his head right now, keeping us afloat in this hockey game as we get the second period underway. 18 shots, 20 shots for Boston before the halfway mark. They're on the power play. I was expecting a goal, I'll be honest. Power play for us, we can't get that in the back of the net. Every time somebody goes on the power play in this series, I'm expecting something to go in the back of the net. And Sidney Crosby, I talked about Sid, how he needed to step up. We had not been getting enough from Sid the Kid. And the captain finally shows up here in game six and gets on the score sheet. Huge goal for Sydney. 3-1 Penguins as we head into the final frame. And there it is. Craig Smith beats Jari. It was a matter of time for the Bruins with how many shots are put on goal. But Crosby, Captain Crosby, yet again. Evgeny Malkin, it's 5-2. And we can say, na, 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 na. Hey, hey, hey. Goodbye. See you later, Boston. Oh, we're singing Sweet Caroline. Let's go pit. Big game for the Penguins. 5-2, to two, and they are marching on to the next round. Absolutely gigantic victory for the Penguins. Sidney Crosby, two goals in the deciding sixth game. I would have jumped in, but I know there's a glitch, and I didn't want to hurt Jari's stats because I love Jari so much. We'll do it later on, maybe. Um... But I didn't want to hurt Jari's stats because I know when you jump into a game, it, whatever period you jump in, it only counts the minutes he played while you were in the game. So, for example, if I jump in in the third period with five minutes left, at the end of the game, it'll say he played 45 minutes instead of 60 because he'll get the 40 from the two simmed periods and then only the five minutes from what I played. It's glitched like that and I didn't want to ruin it. Bo Bennett, three points for him. What is, I'm the GM of the year. GM of the year signing Bo Bennett. Absolutely incredible performance from Bo. Leading the way, plus three. Malkin with three points. Gensel, two assists. Sid with two goals. This has just been an incredible performance. Latang comes back from injury. Doesn't miss a beat. We look so good. Goaltending, Tristan Jory, another incredible performance. I mean, this was just a great showdown where our stars outdueled their stars. Bo Bennett, let's take a look at the stats. Leads the way with nine points in six games. Um, can we go playoff stats over here? Bo Bennett, nine points. Malkin had seven. Sid only with four points, two of them coming in that final game. So at least he finally stepped up late on. But what a series for Bo Bennett. Remember, he had the hat trick, and I believe it was game three or game two. Just put the team on his back and had an incredible performance. Great job, Bo. Leading the way offense. Could we see a Bo Bennett con Smythe? Could you imagine? Uh, Goaltending wise, Tristan Jari, 939 save percentage, 212 goals against. Fantastic. Outdueling the Bruins. Because if you take a look at Boston, Tukarask, 895 save percentage. The Bruins outshot us in a lot of those contests. And the big storyline, of course, Brad Marchand, three points. Posternock had a goal, and I believe it was the second game, the one that the Bruins, the first Bruins win. He scored in. That was the only time we saw his name. Marshan with just two goals. I didn't even see Bergeron. Yeah, look at that. Two assists, minus four. McAvoy is minus six. And the big storyline for the Bruins, they had six power play goals in six games. That was their real storyline. If we kept them off the power play score sheet, total goals they had was, I think, like nine. 
maybe a little bit more. It's the four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven goal, twelve goals. But they had half their goals on the power play. We keep them off the power play. They're down to six goals in six games. Um, so that was a real big key for us. But a huge series. Let's take a look at who we'll be facing in round two as we sim forward here advancing the days uh philly up three two buffalo we know is through we'll be facing philly uh or washington whoever wins that series in the next round toronto and tampa at three three edmonton's through to the next round um could we see a mcdavid crosby showdown the the you know the next one versus the current one or however you want to term that who knows let's go advance a day and Chicago's through, so Patrick Kane and company not ready to give up yet. They did trade Taves, I believe. So it's crazy that they're moving on even without Jonathan Taves, the alleged best leader in the world. San Jose's through, and so the, the West is set. It's going to be Edmonton and San Jose, I believe, and then Chicago and Arizona. My goodness there. And then if we look over on the other side of the tree, Tampa Bay called that one. They end up knocking off Toronto in Game 7 winning the final two games, and then the Flyers and Capitals coming down to a final game. So either way, it's going to be a huge rivalry matchup for us. Um, let's continue to the next round, and we'll be taking on the Philadelphia Flyers. They eliminate Washington in Game 7, and so it'll be Kata Hot and the Flyers dueling Sidney Crosby and the Penguins. The baton was passed 10 years ago uh, to Claude Giroux, remember, in that one series. Okay, uh, and it's going to be Penguins-Flyers in the next round chicago arizona edmonton san jose and then buffalo tampa bay the other series so let's take a look at our opponents for the next round the philadelphia flyers so there we go let's take a look at the flyers lines here connect me jeru voracek is a solid first line i think we have it beat there rust is the worst of the three players but we have the two best players on those lines in gensel and crosby by far second line we have malkin to duel against couturier but then i like zucker uh and i like um bo bennett who's just been on absolute tear over obey kubel and nolan patrick third line is where they probably have us beat or at least are even. They got Kevin Hayes. Uh, Hayes is an absolute beast. Oscar Lindblom, fantastic young player. Scott Lawton, a guy who had some grit for them on that third line going up against our third line, which is McCann, Kapanen, who are both very good. And then Jankowski at, third, at center, who's been solid. He's maybe the weak link compared there. And then fourth line, again, pretty even. Raffle, Andrea, Farabee up against, for us, Seavior, Bluger, and Tanev. So I think fourth line's pretty even. Third line's close to even. Maybe give it to the Flyers. Second line, you'd have to give to us. First line, you'd have to give to us. So I think in terms of ability uh, at the top is where I think the key is going to be for us there. Defensively, their first pairing probably beats ours. We have Matheson, Latang in our first pairing right now. I think Pro for Rob and Gustafson out does that. Second pairing, same thing. They have the top player there in Gostas Bear and then Justin Braun. We have Marino and Dumoulin. So I think those are probably even. I think Marino and Dumoulin are better than Braun, but Gostas is better than them. And then third pair, again, if you average it out, it's pretty even. We have Pedersen, who's close to Sanheim in overall, and then Cody Cece is a little better than Prosser. So I think third line's even, second line's fairly even. First line probably give the edge to the Flyers. The real question mark is going to be goaltending. Carter Hart, solid player, but he's a young guy. Him and Tristan Jari, both young players. How tested are they? We know Hart has the upside. He's expected to be really good, but what is he going to do moving forward? And if we look at their top guys, let's just see how they're scoring. Giroux, only four points. Voracek, three points. Konechny missed a couple of games, it looks like. Patrick's not scoring. Kachuri, eight points in that first series he was probably the key yeah they're getting a lot of and oscar lindblom with a solid series as well lawton looked good so yeah their third line was good our third line will need to shut them down uh to come with the victory but you know they dragged out to seven games and i still don't think they look particularly impressive i like what we can do and i think penguins flyers is going to be a fantastic series and i'm really excited to see how we're going to be able to do in this particular matchup so we'll finish off the episode here with the playoff tree. I'm going to try and get the playoff episodes out thick and fast. Probably one series an episode just because I like to talk through them. Uh, this is the most fun part of the season. I'm excited to see where things go. 
Uh, but very excited. Eastern Conference semifinal. Penguins Flyers. What a showdown. I think the real you know, storylines come forward in the next round, potentially even, you know, Chicago versus Edmonton, the last dynasty versus the new dynasty, Penguins, Tampa, maybe Flyers, Tampa. Uh, I mean, Buffalo is a team to really watch. They, they cruise through Florida, but I just don't know if they have the depth to do it. Um, same with San Jose. Edmonton's got so, so many good scores. It's got a, a lot of storylines coming. So let me know who's going to win in the second round. What do you think the series are going to be? Penguins, Flyers, Pens in how many, Flyers in how many, uh, as well as the other three series. Let me know who you think is going to win. As always, guys, thank you so much for watching. We'll see you very soon. Take care. Bye-bye.